If you recognize this succulent as an agave, you might know it because of its role in this. Or more specifically, this. All tequila is made from one species of agave, but agave expert Wendy Hodson thinks they're great. Aren't these great? For a legacy that predates margaritas. I'm a botanist at the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, Arizona. But she agreed to take us out of Phoenix. Almost there. To the desert north of the city to see ancient agave gardens. Okay, so it may not look like much, but this is a site where Hodson believes people were farming agaves maybe a thousand years ago. These hills were probably covered with agaves. The more water-loving, the more tender crops, beans, corn, squash, etc., would be down in the lower parts. See this guy? This is what we're calling the sacred mountain agave. It's found only in this area. And it's another one that we believe were cultivated by pre-Columbian farmers as far back as possibly 8 or 900 AD. And they're still alive. They're believed to be cultivated because they're slightly different from the wild agaves found in the area. The flowers are different. They're sort of a greenish white. It's well known that people in Mexico have been cultivating agaves for centuries, but it's the recent research of Hodson and others that suggests people in the Southwest relied on cultivated agaves as well. You know, you have the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Agave needs to be right up there. That's actually the, the great aunt. So how do you eat one of these? You can see the young flowering stalk just starting to emerge. And that was the time that, that you would want to harvest them because the plant's accumulating all these carbohydrates for the production of the flower stalk. It can take 10 to 15 years for an agave to flower, so cultivating them would have taken some foresight. And the flowering stalk actually isn't the sweet part. The edible part is down here. They would cut off all the leaves, and they would use these agave tools that we do find in the landscape. They're sharpened rock tools. Agave knives like these are some of the strongest evidence that these agaves were cultivated. And then you're left with this, well, it looks like a pineapple. And it's the heart, and that's what's baked. Pit baked for anywhere from two to four days. This pit was dug recently for a festival, but... We do find agave pits in the landscape that date back into 800, 900. And after days of roasting... And you have the most wonderful, delicious, sweet food. There aren't a lot of super sweet foods around, but the agave is hugely sweet. So you can imagine how popular this plant is just for food. In terms of food, agaves were probably more of a supplemental rather than a staple crop, experts say. But the plants had other uses too. Fiber was huge. Agave uh, sandals, mats, beverage of course. They were making their mezcal or pulque, uh, very definitely. I mean, who wouldn't, you know? (laughs) Hudson says agave were not likely cultivated after about 1350 A.D., Since then, these plants have been reproducing asexually, so the new agaves are clones of the old ones, meaning... Barring any weird little mutation, we're looking at what they were growing way back then, which is really a rare opportunity. Hodson hopes that these agaves may provide some insight into the cultures that were farming them. It's kind of like finding an ancient piece of pottery, except... It's alive. It's alive. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.